Oh, good morning. So glad you can join us on the Weather Network. It is Monday, June the 10th. Hope you had a good weekend. You're watching Weather AM. So what do we have going on here? How about starting things off with a funnel cloud here near St. Nicholas, Quebec. Thank you, Gabriel Robert, for sharing this in. And that's an always an ominous sign, but we are in that time of year where we can get showers, thunderstorms, and sometimes even funnel clouds. Of course, when a funnel cloud touches the ground, then it becomes a tornado. Ancaster, Ontario, and uh, just trying to see the video here, and uh, uh, sun showers, that's what we've got going on. And um, yeah, so then from there, we will go to, uh, speaking of showers, we've had a lot of it in St. John's this June. Thank you, Matt Hader, for sharing uh, this. In fact, how rainy has it been in the Newfoundland capital? You have uh, typically get about 97 and a half millimeters of rain. And uh, as of uh, June 8th, well, we didn't get any rain yesterday, uh, 93 millimeters of rain. So quite a bit of rain uh, to go. Uh, let's take a look here at our forecast here. We've got our upper low, our low pressure system spinning around, bringing more rain showers into Newfoundland towards Gas Bay eastern Quebec, uh, also into eastern Ontario. So temperatures around 20 degrees in Labrador, except near the coast, and temperatures in the mid to upper teens across most of Newfoundland today. Let's take a look across the Maritimes, and your temperatures there be around 20 degrees in Halifax. Note the risk of showers and even scattered thunderstorms today. That extends also into Quebec, where temperatures there will be in the mid to upper teens, around 20 degrees in Quebec City. So below normal temperatures uh, in Port of uh, Quebec. So there's your thunderstorm risk today in yellow, mostly non severe, but there could be some local downpours, gusty winds from time to time, and some small hail as our low pressure system continues to swirl around. The next few days, hey, some sunshine and warmer temperatures coming back to St. John's, which hit 20 degrees again. Charlottetown, that's a pretty nice looking forecast. Keep in mind, though, we still got some isolated showers in parts of New Brunswick into tomorrow as well and scattered thunderstorms. Montreal, very mild day. Keep those golf plans this week. Week. Quebec City, some risk of scattered showers around 40% for the next few days. Over towards Ontario, we are looking at temperatures there uh, below seasonal values. Today is a chilly one at that, so keep that in mind. Here's a look at your forecast for this afternoon. Scattered to isolated storms in Quebec. More cloud cover still hanging around and those cool temperatures. Northwest winds, but those temperatures will start to climb as you get through the week. And a couple of systems first in northern Ontario after the frost warnings come this morning. So here's a look at what we're expecting for the next few days. Toronto, Ottawa, Niagara and Windsor. No temperatures will be rising as we get later in the week, but not so much today. Here's a look across the prairies. Alberta, rain showers in the south this morning, including around Calgary. Of course, we know about the water restriction situation there because of the broken water main. Northeastern Alberta also getting into some rain showers. Risk of thunderstorms extend from the BC interior into western Saskatchewan through the afternoon and evening. It's a chilly day in southern Saskatchewan, much warmer in southern Alberta, and we're cooling down in the BC coast and interior. And we'll leave you here with a look at the north. We've had some snow showers this morning in northern areas of Nunavut. By way of contrast, 17 degrees with a sun and cloud mix in Whitehorse.